Hello everyone, and thank you all for tuning in once again to Tales by the Fire. Last episode, Casimir was attacked by a large wolf-like creature and was nearly killed. While he managed to come out unscathed of the whole event, the same may not be said for Kala and her illness. Will Kala pull through her illness, or will her stay in Madokai be longer than expected? Find out in this episode of Tales by the Fire. Chapter 13 Flee. I was sleeping and dreaming of running. One moment on claws, the next on feet, when suddenly a strange smell filled my nose and raised the hair on my arms. I woke up in a flash, leaping to my feet. Hearing me, Dante got up from where he'd been lying neatly on the floor, fast asleep. His hand on his dagger as he read the expression on my face. What is it? He whispered, glancing from the door to the window. Someone's out there. They, they have malicious intentions, I whispered. I crept to the window and peered out, but I could only see darkness. We, we have to leave right now, I whispered, hastily packing up our belongings. Dante reached for the door, slinging his bedroll over his back. Don't, I said, and reached out to stop his hand. He drew back as if I'd stung him. They're coming in, and they're heading for the stairs, I said, relying on my instincts and hearing above all else. I went to the window and opened it quickly. Go! I whispered to Dante, and he jumped from the window, landing without a sound. I followed quickly. I stumbled on the landing, the weight from the packs putting me off balance, but I didn't make a sound. This way, I said, dashing in front of Dante. Neither of us made a sound as we darted through the alleyways. I could feel that we were still being followed, and found it hard to stop the change that pulled at my joints. I felt my nails lengthen from sheer exertion, and I knew that I couldn't maintain this pace without changing. I slowed, but Dante didn't, and in seconds he was ahead of me. But then I heard another sound that sent my heart pounding. I dropped the bedroll, drawing Kaz's dagger as I sprinted forward. There, I saw Dante, and had the chance to shout his name, just as a man dropped from the roof of a building, landing between Dante and myself. Dante turned around in time to dodge the rugged man's strike. The gleam of the dagger stood out in the darkness, as Dante's assailant struck again. Dante dodged, and I heard him say something to the man, but I couldn't hear his words even with my acute hearing. The other man didn't seem to listen to his words, however, and stabbed the dark-haired mercenary again. Dante nearly dodged in time, but the man's knife nicked his arm, causing a few drops of blood to drip to the ground. The metallic scent flooded me, and my vision seemed to dye the world in red. Run, Dante! I said, my words coming out as a snarl. My bodyguard looked at me. And when he saw my lengthening fangs and pointed ears, he turned away and disappeared into the darkness before the man could stop him. I had enough sense to pull off Dante's long coat before the rest of my clothes tore off as my limbs grew and changed. I hurled toward the man, scraps of cloth flying. I slammed into him and sent him flying, then pounced and planted my paws on his chest leaning down so that my fangs were only inches from his sweating, panicked face. Why are you f hunting us? I snarled, and saliva sprayed from my mouth and into the man's face. I struggled to keep control and prevent the change from taking me over. Not here. Not now. I thought to myself, but my mind only grew more clouded. 
the ruffian's panicked stutters and pleas for life reached my ears, his insisting he had a family and children, but all I could see and smell was Dante's blood. And I bent in and closed my jaws, hot blood filling my mouth and spattering onto my face. My mind was consumed with rage, and everything went black. That was Chapter 13 of Marked. It was written by Darkhawk14 and posted on FictionPress.com. Thank you all for listening. If you'd like to read the story in its entirety, then go to Darkhawk14's FictionPress.com page in the description. And like always, I'll see you all next time on Tales by the Fire.